What's happening, party people? What's happening? I'm your host with the most, Mr. Ron, and welcome to another episode of 40 Years of Hip Hop, where we review 1,000 songs over the span of 40 years, from 1979 to 2019. And that's right, party people at 40 Years of Hip Hop, we are working to give you guys what you always wanted. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Coming your way pretty soon, our mixed cloud platform called Forever Hip Hop. You'll be able to listen to all the music that we spoke about and more. Okay? We'll have some memberships available. So, we heard you. We heard you, party people. So today, we will be reviewing The Worst Guy by Childish Gambino, featuring uh, Chance the Rapper from the album Because the Internet, which was released in 2013. But before we jump into this, let's check it out. Of course, Mr. Ron's Week. So, yo, party people, this week, Mr. Ron got his second COVID shot, you know? Yo, I was out of commission for like three days straight. Two days were incredibly unpleasant. But on the third day, I started feeling much, much, much uh, better. And that's not too long ago. That's not too long ago. So, also, just to contradict what I said in my previous uh, podcast Donda just finally dropped yes Kanye dropped Donda 27 songs long one hour over one hour and 45 minutes man that's a lot of music I had the chance to listen to it I feel like it's a little better than the life of Pablo and I'm not even gonna mention what he dropped. I think like last year or the year before the whole Jesus album there. I'm not even gonna mention that. But I have to say it's not bad, but who has the time to listen to 27 songs? I don't. I'm not gonna sit there and listen to 27 Kanye songs, you know? It is what it is. And again, my favorite song is still, it's that joint with J Electronica and Jesus Lord, that's right, featuring J Electronica and The Locks. That's my favorite joint on the album. And uh, yeah, so it finally dropped, okay. Uh, so party people, Mr. Ron's track of the week. So every week I will pick one track, just like that. Some new shit, you know. We old heads do listen to some new shit, you know. And yeah, so I'm gonna go with Sons of Gotham by Talib Kweli and Diamond D. So dope, so dope. Two veterans, okay? And that's a little thing that I kind of like dislike about hip hop in general. I find like rock and roll, they they kind of like, they, they appreciate older previous generations, you know? And hip hop, it's a little harder. And uh, I think my generation is gonna change that. You know, I really think so. And that's why, you know, like in 2021, I can still, you know, play a track from Talib Kweli and Diamond D, which are probably unknown to, you know, the younger generation. But these guys are legends, you know, and they must not be slept on. And also I've been listening to, you know what? old head i've been listening to houdini yes houdini the freaks come out at night the freaks come out at night the freaks come out at night uh, yeah so again i was just surfing and I, I i fell on that channel called unsung and it's like a documentary on some groups whatever you know it's on youtube and it was a documentary on houdini and i respect those cats you know i respect those cats and I know that, in my point of view, I know that five minutes of funk made the cut from them, you know. And who knows, maybe the G-Man is going to pick something from them. I don't know, but I think that five minutes of funk really en englobes who Houdini is. Yeah. Anyways, party people, and uh, next week, check out my man, the G-Money. 
as he's basically reviewing Total Wreck by Bahamadia, which is one of the most underrated female MCs, you know. She doesn't have a long discography, but yo, she's dope. She has a very unique voice, unique delivery. And the track that my man picked, I could just label it as strictly boom bap 90s hip hop. That's, that's the first thing that comes to my head, you know. Check it out, check out the G-Man as he reviews Total Reg by Bahamadia. So, now, back to the review, party people. <clears throat> So I chose this song because it's just a great piece of music, lyrically and production wise. And I also like that song because it gave uh, you a new look at modern black men, you know? And you know, I'll, I'll, I'll basically dive into this later on. So originality people, is this song original? And if so, how? Well, the song definitely stand out both uh, lyrically and musically, okay? It's a chill summer hip hop jam. There's an impressive, literally like impressive guitar solo towards the end uh, uh, of the track. The video features our duo doing activities that are not often seen in black culture, you know? They're just chilling, surfing, you know, at the beach. It looks like a very, I would say, LA-ish vibe, great video, you know? And there's even a Karate Kid reference. I think it's a Karate Kid reference. When you see Chance the Rapper and Childish Gambino practice their karate moves, pretty cool, pretty cool. So fun fact, the name Childish Gambino was based on a Wu-Tang Clan name generator from the internet, that's right. Uh, I've actually used it and mine came out as Vanquisher Angry. Yes, Vanquisher Angry. Courtesy of Discogs, and this is why party people for originality, I give it a 3.75 on five. Delivery, party people. Delivery which stands for lyrics and flow. Quotable. So I'm gonna start with the quotable, and of course, I am no childish Gambino, nor am I a chance the rapper. So here it goes. I'm something so immaculate. Instead of asking what's happening, rather blast a Jackson 5 in the back of an Acura, acting blacker than Bernie Mac to Charlie Murphy's and Akon. The girl you brought, where are they from? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So, I'm something so immaculate, meaning he's a clean type of dude, okay? Somewhat religiously clean, even though there's no play on religion in that uh, verse. He's just like, he's just a clean guy. You know, he's not a gangster. You know, that that's the way I see it. Now, this is where it gets deep. Instead of asking what's happening, what what's happening is a black sitcom from the 70s, rather blast Jackson 5, again, classic black boys band, the Jackson 5 from the 70s, that ties up with the whole blackness and 70s theme from the previous line. Acting blacker than Bernie Mac, two Charlie Murphys, and Akon. So I so relate to that rhyme because for us black Canadians, <laughs> we don't come off as hard or gangster, okay? So when we, I included, so I will just say I, I don't wanna, you know, point anyone else. We tend to tune up black lingo. As more as there's like black people around us, as we're gonna tune up the black lingo. Hence, acting blacker than two Charlie Murphys and an Akon. Kane Peel did a skit about that, about adjusting your blackness level. Uh, love those guys. And again, they play on that, you know, not every, you know, black man is like hard and gangster, you know. And yeah, funny story. Shout out to Childish uh, Gambino to address real life issues in the second verse. He's seeing how he just, he just murdered the Vaj, then he was awkward as fuck because he couldn't get it up. Ah, ah. 
I would love to hear more from uh, Chance the Rapper though. He's just basically saying, all you need is ill, all you need is ill. You know, so it was just on the hook. I would have loved to hear like at least a verse from him, you know. The song's narrative, Childish Gambino and Chance are the worst guys because we never know what she needs, you know. On the hook, she's like, all she needs is a little, all she needs is a little, all she needs is a little, but we never know. So they are responsible. They are the worst guys. Courtesy of GeniusPartyPeople.com, and this is why I gave it a four point, a four on five. Production party people. Production, which consists of beat, mixing, scratching, if there's any. Produced by Ludwig Goranson. Okay, and Childish Gambino. Ludwig Goranson's been producing for and with Childish Gambino since his first mixtape, Cul de Sac, released in 2010. There's a pretty good guitar solo towards the end of uh, the movie and it is played by Ludwig Goransson who uh, in an interview with Hip Hop DX said he did not know how or if he would be part of the internet because Childish Gambino was really in a very like experimental phase and he just basically just showed up and started working and yeah so he was actually on that record no samples, okay, no samples, but was sampled once, <clears throat> once by Piss Spears on the track, apparently all she need was to get low. It's like an electro mashup that doesn't sound good at all, you know, from my point of view, it, I don't know, I, I, I'm just not feeling it, I'm just not feeling it. The beat is dope, there's tempo changes, that bass drop is uncanny and that guitar solo at the end just ties the song really, really well. I could bump it on the instrumental tip, you know, perfect sound marriage with, you know, the vocals and the instrumental. Courtesy of whosample.com and this is Wire Party People, I give it a four on five. So top five party people, these are my favorite top five childish Gambino tracks, okay? And yeah, so I'm gonna start with the song that made me discover Childish Gambino, which is called Heartbeat from the mixtape Camp, which was released in 2011. Then I'm gonna go with uh, 3005 from Because the Internet, which was released in 2013. And I'm gonna go with, actually, yeah, I actually put a song in there just to show uh, Childish Gambino's versatility, you know, he's so versatile. Me and Your Mama from the album uh, Awaken My Love, released in 2016. And this is not a hip hop song party, people. This is a, this is a soul funk, Lenny Kravitz meets Sly and the Family Stone type shit. But it's dope. It's dope. You know, and number four, I'm gonna go with Pop Thieves Make It Feel Good from uh, the Kawaii Project released in 2014. And I'm gonna go last but not least, number five, This Is America from the album This Is America released in 2018. But party people, before we get back into the review, at 40 Years of Hip Hop, we use Buzzsprout for our podcast. They get your show listed on every podcast podcast platform available. We were able to get to 10,000 downloads within a year. As a Buzzsprout member, you will get a great looking podcast platform, an audio player you can drop into other websites, even WordPress templates, uh, you will also benefit from a detailed analytics and tools to promote your episode. Tools like the audio video snippets of your podcast called Sound Bites. However, party people, for me, the bonus is that I get to generate a second revenue by talking about something that I'm passionate about. Okay, think about it. Are you a fan of something? Try podcasting about it. It's easy, fun, and can generate a second revenue. Get started for free 
no credit card required, cancel anytime, no contracts. And it doesn't stop there, party people. After your second invoice, you will receive a $20 Amazon gift certificate. It doesn't get any better than this. Link below in our episode descriptions and party people, Buzzsprout is the way to go. Now back to our review. Relevance and longevity, party people, is this song still relevant? Was it able to stand the test of time? Well, over 46 million views uh, for the video on YouTube. That's, that's something. So many reactions for the single and the album. Uh, a young YouTuber that goes by the name That Boy Jake reviewed the song in 2020. And for him, that's a throwback jam. You know, for him, that's a throwback jam. Damn. So this has the potential to be like a new generation classic. Has the potential, okay? Maybe like a classic summer jam, you know? Fun fact number two, guys. As you may or may not know, you know I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. And Childish Gambino got to play the smoothest character in the Holy Trilogy, Lando Calrissian, in the Star Wars uh, movie Han Solo, which was not great that movie was not great but you know big up to childish gambino to be able to play lando and he played it he nailed it you know he played it well you know i, I was like yo that's a good lando that's a, like a, a modern take on the lando calrissian character party people and this is why i gave it a 3.25 on 5 for relevance and longevity powerful impact Boom from the cannon. So, I have to say, party people, listening to this song makes me feel younger. I totally vibe with Childish Gambino and Chance. I relate to these cats. See, he did win Best Rap Album and the Grammy for the album because of the internet. Okay, so that counts. I don't really care about Grammys or the Billboard. Childish Gambino won over 43 awards and was nominated for a total of 152. He, in total, he's a major player as a musician, rapper, singer, producer, okay? As a writer, shout out to one of the best shows out there called 30 Rock. He actually started as a writer on that show. Also for Atlanta, as an actor, okay? He's an, I just find he's like an interesting person, you know? And for impact, this is why I give it a 3.75 on five. And I would say like, you know what? I think, I don't know if Challenge Gambino is going to keep having a musical career or if he just like, kind of like, he's the type of guy that just basically does whatever. Cause he went from uh, writing to, to rapping, okay? To like the music industry. After that, he went to, from the music, from the music industry, from rapping, he went into singing, went back to uh, acting, went back to writing Atlanta. So who knows? Who knows? You know, is he going to be able to have like a good solid career in hip hop? I don't know. But I know he has some dope tracks. He has some dope tracks. And for Impact, I it is a well-deserved 3.75 on 5. Support the people, final thoughts. Okay, so I love that track. A nice summary, modern beat, you know, modern track. Love it, you know, makes me feel young at heart. And I totally relate to Challenge Gambino and Chance the Rapper, you know. So originally I gave it a 3.75 for delivery. I gave it a four, a production four as well. It was 3.25 for relevance and longevity and 3.75 for impact for a grand total of 18.75 on 25 for 75%. Party people, thanks for sharing this moment together. Subscribe, like, share, and party people support 40 years of hip hop by buying us a coffee so that we could continue dropping this amazing weekly podcast 
tune back next week as I will be reviewing Antidote by Travis Scott, the first song that made me feel old. See, now that song makes me feel young because I'm really an old head, but Travis Scott made me feel old, like I was out of touch with the music uh, industry. And I'm going to review that song and we're going to share it together, party people. So, all right. So, this is Mr. Ron wishing you a happy Honolulu. Peace. And I'm out.